What's going on guys? Talk Aston Villa here back just doing the first live stream I should say for the Claire and Blue report. I hope this is coming across crystal clear. Had to lower the bandwidth and all that kind of stuff. Internet problem at the parental's house. So you know all that good stuff. Um, anyways, let's get into it. I was going to do a normal episode of this, but unfortunately I have to go to work in about, oh god, like half an hour and I don't have time to record, edit, and upload that in half an hour. There is no way for the certain quality I want it to be. So anyways, we'll get right into it. And the main headline today is Fabian Delph. He has officially come out. This is, I'm going to say this is the most retarded thing I've ever heard in my life. It's just the worst saga ever. I, I feel stupid because I bought into it. And the whole fact of just because he didn't show up because his wife's actually giving birth and Ashley Westwood even came out and said that's the only reason they have contacted them and the media doesn't, he's staying, and he's admitted it that it, he's true to his word, and I think thousands and probably millions of Villa fans feel pretty darn stupid right about now. He has quoted by saying, I'm not leaving, I'm staying at the football club, and I can't wait for the start of the season and capping this great football club. He said other stuff that he's going to set the record straight and all that kind of stuff. I'm reading cards if you're wondering why, but I will tweet this out very quickly here just to get a few people in if you are here just say hello in the comments and i'll get to you in a second it's probably going to be about another eight minutes or so i literally am rushing just to do this and eat and get to work so better than nothing so i'll just tweet this out or if i can spell to live okay Sorry about that, very unprofessional, I can imagine. But anyways, we'll get on to the second story, which is Adrissa Gay. It's like, I'm going to say gay because it's Magai Gay, the old Everton Millwall player. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyways, leave in the comments if it's not. A lot of these views will probably be on playbacks. Anyways, he has signed from Lille, the 25-year-old, on a four-year contract for £9 million, I believe it is, which is great business, seeing as Delph is staying. So you'd have to consider that we're actually... Adding quality, you'd have to say that is the cleverly replacement from last season. So it's great to see. Sherwood has been quoted saying he's been one of the best young midfielders in France for the last few seasons. And there were a lot of teams trying to sign him up this summer. Uh, we're just lucky enough to get him. And then he goes on saying he's a great talent again, blah, 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 blah. My opinion, great signing, different kind of signing, experienced. He's not 21. He's not a Lambert-esque signing that he's a young up-and-comer. He's still young at 25, same age as Delph, but he's becoming more established, and that's great to see that we've nicked him off a top French side and a top, I wouldn't say a top European side, but everyone knows what I mean it's there. So two great pieces of news, and then we'll get to some absolute rubbish as we go on here. First, we'll go on to Andros Townsend, where it is reported by the Birmingham Mail saying that Spurs 50 million Andros Townsend not putting off Sherwood, which scares the crap out of me. If we're willing to spend $50 million on Andres Townsend, then why aren't we spending more on that on other players? Obviously, that is probably dependent on Benteke going to Liverpool for the £32.5 million pound release clause, which if half of that's going to Townsend, then I lose faith in humanity. English inflation, once again, never surprises me. Um, obviously, him and Sherwood have a great and fantastic relationship together, obviously, with his time at Spurs, so you have to give that. But the whole thing that doesn't make sense here, why would ultimately would he give, and a lot of people ask him this, why would he give up Europa League um, playing for a top six side, I guess you could say. But I think the big thing here that Sherwood can guarantee him is week out, week in, Premier League regular football for obviously Euro, Europa League, or not Europa League. The Euros are coming up. This is how much of a rush I'm in today. So obviously he wants to get in that England squad, so game time in the uh, Premier League makes more sense. We'll go on to the fourth bit of news, and this is so jumbled up, and I'm just trying to rush through this as much as possible. Jordan Amavi, obviously, or maybe Amavi, sorry if you pronounced that wrong, apparently a £3 million bid has been sent. I haven't heard if it's been accepted or whatever. Apparently it's been sent to Nice for the left-back. Three-year deal to be offered. Young left-back, a a Suzuka, I don't think, since Sherwood's plans has been pretty evident. Obviously, with Lewton leaving, obviously he could play left back and right back. We were playing him in both at the end of the season when Sherwood came in. So we need another one nonetheless. Hutton 
eh, but Kuna wouldn't really cut it either as a makeshift for either way. So you need another left back in there. And I think he would obviously start over Suzoko. Suzoko's utter crap in my opinion. Is this going to happen? I'll give it a three out of five just to keep it alive. But until I hear more, it's been pretty hot and cold for a lot of time. Uh, the fifth bit of news will go on to Aston Villa are interested in Marseille defender Nicholas Nkalou. He's 7 million rated, Cameroon International. Will this happen? Eh, can't really see it happening. Newcastle and Sunderland are also interested. Um, what else do I have here? And obviously, Marseille, uh, will they sell him? Obviously, if you play FIFA, you got team of the season. So obviously, had a decent season there, I guess you could say. Um, but they're quoted as in saying that they'd rather sell him to an English side than sell him to Lyon. Obviously, they want to sell him to another League One side to make more sense in that concept. So will that happen? I'm going to give this a 2 out of 5. I can't see it. There hasn't been much hot topics and hot business around this, or really even speeches about this. So I'm not really going to give it much attention there. Next, in the final bit of business here, just off the cue cards, we have, we are in for Swiss wonder kid, Briel Mbolo, uh, not Mbola, Mbolo, um, as a Benteke replacement if he leaves. He's 18 years old. He's 10 million uh, pound rated. He's been capped three times uh, by the Switzerland international team, if I can get that out correctly. Will this happen? I think this is just one of those things that if Benteke leaves, everyone's going to be linked with us under the sun. Do I believe it? No, I don't think we're going to put our faith in a 18-year-old wonder kid to lead us where Benteke did when he first came. I, I don't believe that because I don't think he'd have the same impact. And if you don't – that wouldn't be the answer. We need someone like a Charlie Austin or something like that to step in if Benteke does leave. We're not going to put our faith in an 18-year-old wonder kid. There is no way in hell, in my opinion. But anyways, guys, that's it with that. I just threw that away. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm not sure how long it went. Um, I'll just go to the comments here quickly because I haven't even checked that yet. So just let me open that up very, very quickly. Um, great to see some of you guys in here. There's not too many. It was just kind of a makeshift thing at the last minute. Um, if you see me moving around and looking down, it's at the screen. Camera here, screen there. Um, so I can block that. Let's see if there's any comments in here. There's a few. Uh, the great Splatoon fan. Hi, I'm a Villa fan. Cheers for coming in, pal. Uh, Muhammad Yusuf saying hi. How you doing? Um, him also saying, could you summarize what you just said? Um, I wish I would have read that when I was speaking about that. But anyways, the top things to get out of here, Delph stays, guy signs. Townsend's thing is rubbish in my opinion. The 18-year-old wonder kid thing will not happen. And Kalu is a possibility, which I would welcomely see given our crappy defenders. I don't believe in our backline. I have no faith in it as of right now. And... Amavi, it could happen, but I think give it another week and then you'll know some more. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like the video, share it around, retweet it, whatever on Inst well, whatever you want to do on Twitter, Instagram, whatever you're going to do with this thing. It doesn't matter to me. It's up to you guys if you guys don't want to replay and watch it again, the full thing. I'll talk to you guys later. Um, next one should be probably tomorrow or Tuesday. So I'll see you guys then. Peace out.